let's go. Let's just uh, connect with Ashwin Bhadri, the chief executive of Equinox uh, Laboratories, an expert on uh, food security compliance. Thanks for joining us, Ashwin. Now, you've said that the Maggie controversy has opened uh, many, many eyes. So what's the big learning, according to you? I think the biggest learning has been uh, the power of FSACI, right? Uh, Till before Maggie, 99.5% of India had never even heard what FSACI is. After Maggie, I think the entire country has woken up uh, and found out that there's a new food law. I think the mechanism itself has, you know, the FSACI itself has woken up uh, because of the controversy and because of the public pressure and the media pressure that has come onto it. And I think the uh, industry that was most woken was the food industry. Uh, till then, you know, FSSI was taken pretty lightly by the industry because, you know, of the extensions that uh, were, you know, kept on giving, which is fine because India is a vast country. Uh, it will take a little while, you know, for the law to roll out. But when this happened, every single manufacturer uh, in the country has woken up to the law, has understood the severity of the law, and, uh, you know, is now running to comply to it because nobody wants, uh, you know, to happen to them what happened with Nestle. Your company helps firms comply with food safety norms. Just tell us a little bit more about what is really needed to improve the overall system. So I think the first thing that is needed to improve the system is knowledge. Most companies today are unaware of which part of FSACI they need to comply to. Uh, most people are scared that they're not complying to most of it, where the actual truth is that they are complying to almost 80% of the laws they're already complying to. It's only a little bit, you know, the little gap which is there, which needs to be bridged. Our company helps customers understand what that gap is and bridge that gap. Uh, let it be right from the labeling of their products to understanding whether their products require approval or not, going down to the store levels, product levels, and seeing if they require the licenses, if the licenses they have are correct or not. And most importantly, making sure that the top management and all the stakeholders understand what is FSACI and which aspects of FSACI apply to them. And the next thing is making sure that the organization is complying to all aspects of FSACI which apply to them. Yeah, you mentioned labeling, you mentioned all these things, but uh, what about testing really, safety testing? Is there a need uh, for more attention and more resources to be diverted uh, towards safer testing, especially of uh, packaged foods? Yes, there is a lot more attention and a lot more resources that should be uh, you know, given towards implementation of this law. Uh, it's not only testing, but also in terms of education. The government needs to be stepping up the education programs that they're going to be running for the industry. Either they could fund uh, companies you know, to do it, or they themselves can hold it. Holding one or two programs in a year, I don't think is adequate. Uh, I think Maharashtra has done significantly uh, no, significance uh, in uh, you know, training people. Uh, for example, whenever we have held training sessions, the local FDA officials always visit those sessions, you know, making sure that the industry sees that FDA is you know, promoting the knowledge. I don't know if this is happening in other states. So do international standards and Indian compliance to them vary greatly? So uh, the current Indian standards are at par with international compliance standards. Uh, there are obviously differences in terms of uh, you know, some, some regulations, but I think uh, FSCCI has become stringent enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any other international standard as well. Now that has also been looked upon by the industry you know, a, a little uh, with apprehension, saying that overnight you cannot you know, bring Indian standards or international standards and thrust them on India. The way I look at it is if India has to rise, it cannot be a very slow and gradual rise. It needs to rise to the global economy, it needs to rise to the global standards because if Indian products have to be on shelves internationally, which they already are, but there are very few brands that have actually gotten international exposure. Uh, you know, Every single Indian brand can be there uh, present across the world and India, Indian food you know, is going to be now perceived as safe across the world. And most importantly, food within India, the quality of the food, the hygiene of the food within India is drastically going to improve. And that is what I'm really looking forward to seeing in the next few years. Oh, aren't we all? Ashwin, what do you make of uh, Nestle, how they've handled this situation? Do you think it was done in a timely manner? 
So I think the way uh, Nestle handles situation was a little too soft. Uh, when somebody goes behind your brand, you should put every single muscle in your body to defend your brand. Uh, Nestle, I think, reacted a little too slowly. I think now they're reacting a little bit more strongly. I think they should have reacted a little faster and uh, you know, a little quicker so that it wouldn't have rolled out into the place that it rolled out into today. Uh, that is one. Two, I think the brands today need to start investing in doing testing and working on compliance, not just testing, because testing is just one of the steps of compliance. There are so many other steps of compliance and companies need to start investing in it to make sure that they start complying with the law. I think the biggest takeaway for the entire industry and for me was that FSCCI is here to stay. It is not going to go away. It is something that we have to live with and I think we can take advantage of it and use it to elevate our own internal standards. I think it's a three-step process. First is education, two is implementation, and third would be improvement. I think if you're able to do that, uh, FSCCI can actually make the entire industry a lot more stronger, a lot more robust, and a lot more organized. Right, so more power to the FSSAI. We'll see how it goes uh, as far as this case is concerned and of course the larger learnings as well. Ashwin, pleasure having you with us. Thanks for joining us. We'll take a quick break now on this edition of The Final Word. When we return, the government refusing to roll back the tough... Uh